It's been said that you can get everything in life you want if you'll just help enough other people get what they want. That's really what mentoring is all about at Skills for Change. Over the past year, the Skills for Change mentoring program matched over 144 mentees to volunteer mentors. 75% of the mentees have found employment. Listen now as Roberto Cudo, Senior Project Manager, International Telecommunication Services for Scotiabank, and Francisco Sordo, Manager, Global Transaction Banking for Scotiabank, talk about their time together as mentor and mentee. One of the challenges that people face, and in my case was specifically that, even though I was very, well, a lot of uh, preparation from my former country with the CTP and English and other courses, and a lot of experience in banking, I really don't know how does that fit in the Canadian marketplace. So when I was offered uh, like a, men a mentor to help me, I was I remember with Rosalind from Skill for Change that she was trying to get someone else from another bank. And I say, no, I, I will wait for Roberto because he's in the, in the bank I'm willing to work in. And uh, I know that uh, it's worth to wait for him. I can share my own experience trying to catch up with the interview skills. Many, many times I was in front of a mirror talking myself, um, mocking up like an uh, interview. And always, uh, sometimes my uh, youngest daughter asked me when I finished the interview, hey, Dad, who uh, you were talking to? No, with no with one. So it was very funny, you know, just talking to the mirror, trying to, uh, to get a very good body language. Um, answering the right question, using the right script, uh, using the, the right verbs, the right uh, words, and this kind of stuff. It takes a little bit time, but if you are, if you are focused on this, uh, I think uh, you are going to get it. I share these key tips with all my, my mentees and officially mentees also. No? <laughs> One of the myths or the barriers here in Canada is that such a such call no Canadian experience. And I don't believe in it, personally. I think if you are prepared, if you have the, the, the right background, if you have the, the right attitude, plus the aptitude, you will get whatever you want. And that will be the, my message for the, the new mentees, that uh, don't believe or don't take it uh, so personally when they say you don't have Canadian experience. Translate, them, translate that phrase or that, uh, that uh, sticker like uh, what they are saying is, I don't need you. So think about what what you say or what you don't have or what you have that they are deciding not to, to hire you because of that, instead of no Canadian experience. Francisco surprised me is that the, he was very, very uh, focused on get, uh, getting the job very quickly. So when we sit down, as as soon as we sit down uh, over the table, he just showed me all the resume, all the uh, the works he would like to apply for, and really was amazing. So, one of the things uh, I want to stress is, even though it was only one hour, it was no more than one hour because he was very busy or he's very busy, but we have we get the most from that 60, those 50, 60 minutes because, uh, of course, I was prepared. He was willing to help, and we wake uh, like a very good connection. Uh, yeah. I have another saying that says, "Dreams needs action." If you don't do, you just dream. You're a dreamer. If you just, if you put the action, put the, the different efforts, you will de get the, the right results. If you're focused, you have to be focused in what you're looking for, and not just take something so, uh, like as a survivor job. Of course, it depends on the personal circumstances, but go for the big one, because everyone can do it.